In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Pinterest add to cut tag on our website. In the beginning, I am requesting you to subscribe my channel if you haven't done that yet and press the bell icon button for get more updates. So let's see how to do that. This is my website. I will set up the tag on this website with Google Tag Manager and this is my Pinterest ad account. I want to grab your attention on this website. I have already set up two tags on this website. Look at this Pinterest tag helper extension. If I click here, you will see the one tag that is initialized event. If I visit a product page on this website, then you will see, let's go to this product. Now notice here, this extension has found two tags. If you click here, you will see initialized event and the second is a page visit event. Likewise, if I go to my Pinterest ad account and from there event manager, my Pinterest ad account. Now click on the ads from top menu and go to conversions. This is event history. You scroll down, then you will see initialized event and the page visit event. When we will set up add to card event, then you will also see here add to card event. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and take a new tag going tags or clicking on add a new tag click here tag configuration and search from here pinterest here you go pinterest tag click here and insert here pinterest tag id we have created a variable for pinterest tag id so click on the plus icon and select from here pinterest tag id and has email we have created a variable for has email that i have showed in the previous video so click on plus icon and select from here data lab variable visitor email hashed now event to fire we have to select here add to card so select it now we have to enter here order value that means the product the user have add, added to card the price of that product we have to uh, insert here then we have to put here currency and order quantity and order id that means transaction id that we have got usually when a user purchase on our website to create this parameter as a variable we have to go to our google tag manager preview mode so i'm going to duplicate this tab now go to preview enter here your website url and click on connect let's add a product to cart let's go to a product page then click on add to cart let's go back to our tag assistant tab and click on continue now you should find out a add to cart event on the left hand menu here you go this is add to cart event if you click here and then go to data layer variable now we will see the details of the product has been added to cart we can create that variables from here so let's go to google tag manager and click on variables then go to user defined variables and click on new and click on variable configuration and select from here data layer variable and data layer variable name will be copy from here e-commerce and then copy from here add and then copy products and copy from here price also let's go back to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce dot add dot products dot price and give this variable a name i'm going to name it data layer variable for add to cart price now click on save now let's create another variable click on new click on variable configuration and go to data layer variable and the name will be go to tag assistant and copy from here currency go back to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce dot then currency you give the variable a name data layer currency and click on save let's create another variable click on new click on variable configuration and take here data layer variable and variable name will be go to tag assistant and copy from here quantity go back to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce dot add dot products dot quantity i'm going to name it data layer variable for add to cart quantity then click on save 
our variables are ready let's go back to the google tag manager first tab and now we are going to insert here uh, order value variables so click on the plus icon and select from here add to cut price then insert here your currency click on plus icon and select from here currency and order quantity click on plus icon and select from here add to cart quantity okay we don't need here to insert our order id because it's related to purchase event so then insert here product id we have created a variable in the previous video for product id so click on plus icon and select from here the data layer variable product id and product category again click on plus icon and select from here product category now directly go to triggering click on this big button i want this tag to be fired on add to cart event although i have created a trigger uh, add to cart but i want to show you how to create that click on this plus icon and click on trigger configuration and take here custom event and go to tag assistant and from here copy the event name add to cart and go back to google tag manager and event name insert here add to cart and give it a name then click on save and then directly this trigger will be insert in your trigger section i'm gonna discard it because i have created already a trigger so i'm going to select it and give it also a name i'm going to name it okay then save our tag is ready now we have to check it is it working properly or not so let's go to preview mode again insert your website url and click on connect tag assistant connected let's add a product to cart go to this product and click on add to cart go back to tag assistant tab and click on continue now see here add to cart tag is fired on our website but it's not enough we have to check it also on our pinterest event manager so let's go back to pinterest and i'm going to refresh this page again now a little scroll down here you go you can see here our add to cart event is coming from our website now we can say our tag is implemented on our website properly so that's it in this video if you need any help or any question or any suggestion about this video don't hesitate to drop down in the comment box i will really appreciate your questions and suggestions i'm a professional freelancer working on fiverr and working also on upwork if you need any service from google ads facebook ads google tech manager google analytics facebook pixel conversion api server site tracking etc you can place an order on fiverr or on upwork or you can directly contact me on this whatsapp number or on this gmail address so that's it today if you found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and considering subscribing to my channel so see you in another video until then goodbye thank you so much